All right, guys, good morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. Today we're going to be talking about rocks and minerals and what the differences are. Um, if I say, hey, what is this thing I'm going to pick up over the look? Got some food for our chickens. You're going to see why in a minute. So right here, is this a rock? Is this a mineral? I, why do you know? How do you know the difference? So today we're going to explain the difference between rocks and minerals. And to do that, we're going to have to bake chocolate chip cookies. And to bake chocolate chip cookies, we need ingredients. Uh, one of those ingredients is eggs, um, our eggs. We are fresh out of eggs. So I have to come down here to our chicken coop, give the ladies a treat here, and uh, see if they have some eggs for us. So let's go for it. Okay, so I just brought some old bread and stuff down for the for the chickens. They enjoy some of the scraps from leftovers. Anyway, let's go check and see if there's any eggs for uh, so we can make those chocolate chip cookies and teach you what rocks and minerals are. Right, and we have looks like four eggs today. Those are fake ones in the back. One, two, three, four. More than enough. We only need two, so we are in luck. Okay. Well, now that we got one of our ingredients, I want to ex show you something about those ingredients. If you notice those eggs when I picked them up, they may have looked a little different, but the they are the same thing. Everything in that egg is an egg. So, the difference between rocks and minerals, one thing, is their ingredients. What are they made of? So, lock this up. Okay. So, when I'm going to let you take notice about it again. An egg is an egg. Everything inside that egg is one thing. It's, it's the ingredient. It's the inside of an egg. Okay. Another egg. So, one of the ingredients is an egg. That's going to be very important when we talk about minerals. Let's go back in the house and uh, get the rest of our ingredients. Okay, here are the eggs. Again, this is one of the many ingredients. Okay, we're going to have Maddie help us here. In this bowl is one other ingredient. Go ahead and taste that, Maddie. Tell me what do you think it is. It's sugar. Sugar. So everything in this bowl is what? Sugar. Sugar. It's one ingredient. Everything in this bowl is a, chip. is a chocolate chip. It's nothing different. They're all chocolate chips. So no matter how many different places you reach in, you're always going to get a chocolate chip. A mineral is just like that. A mineral is one ingredient over and over again. And we have this bowl, which is flour. Everything in this bowl is flour. So minerals are like ingredients. One mineral is one ingredient. What we're going to do next is we're going to mix, start mixing some of these together. So we have our mixture of ingredients, and now we are going to blend them together. We are also going to add our vanilla. Maddie, why don't you get a little closer here? Yeah. And then in this bowl, here, mix these. We're going to make another. We're going to make a different rock over here. If this were a mineral, this is one ingredient. And then this is a, another ingredient. And there's another ingredient. And you're going to stir that together, okay? Uh, no. This is a message. Mix that together. So we are creating a rock over here mixed with different minerals. If this if food was mineral. And then we are creating by mixing different ingredients here would be another type of rock. Alright? Now when you mix minerals together, you can make different types of rocks. You can based on what minerals are together will result in the different um, ingredients that make up that rock. There's one more thing we're gonna learn, and that's what you do with these ingredients. So we've got our mixture. We have our mixture of several ingredients, and we're making cookie dough. In nature, when you mix several minerals, and you mix the minerals together, you make a rock. Remember, a rock is a mixture of minerals. So it's what we do with these mixtures of minerals, this, this 
cookie dough, for example, that determines what the outcome is. Many of you probably like eating the cookie dough directly. Well, in nature, that would be a sedimentary rock, just squished together. If we could put the dough in, some, in, in the oven under some heat and pressure, it would be a metamorphic rock if you did that with the ingredients of minerals. Now, if you do like I usually do and I cook them too long and they, they almost catch fire and they melt and they turn to like charcoal, that would be an igneous rock, which is made mm -hmm. under extreme, uh, it, it, you gotta melt it. So, in review, there are three types of rocks. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Igneous means ignite, it's fire, it, it, it melts. And when it melts, it cools as a rock. And that's an igneous rock, that's the rock type. There are many types of igneous rocks, we'll explore that later, but that's an igneous rock, ignite, and fire. There is, yep, you keep going. She's just adding our flour mixture. If you go to the next type of rock, which is under extreme heat and pressure, you heat it up and you squish it together, that's called a metamorphic rock. And then the final type of rock is just when the rock, when the minerals just get squished together, there's no heat, just squishing it together. And that creates something like, almost like cement. That would create a sedimentary rock, sediment. All right, so we're gonna finish mixing this together and uh, we're gonna get some cooking going. Yep. Good. What type of rock it is? All right, so we have our, our, what type of rock is this mixture without doing anything to it? Not bad, sedimentary. So there you go, there's a sedimentary. How's it taste? Awesome. So we have a sedimentary rock, and the sedimentary rock, um, how about our camera person? Sedimentary rock, how's it formed? When sediments layer on top of each other and they're pressed together and they become a little rock. All right, here you go. Very good. So sedimentary rocks are my favorite. And when we put those rocks under some heat, not melting it, just putting it under some heat and let's say pressure, we make a metamorphic rock. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go ahead and put these on, on our uh, pan and put them in the oven. And that's gonna make our metamorphic rock. And then our last type of rock would be igneous rock. And that's if I burned these things to a crisp, but I don't wanna waste any cookie batter. So you can just imagine these things getting burned and melted and yeah, that, that would be a, a, yeah, a cry. That would be a igneous rock. So. We're gonna make our metamorphic rocks here and we're gonna put them in the oven. Remember, a rock is a mixture of minerals. All this great cookie dough started out as individual things, individual things. Those individual things in nature are minerals. And when you mix them together, you get a rock. And then based on what you do with that mixture, if it's just stuck together and squished, it's sedimentary. If it's put under heat and pressure, if you just heat and pressure, that's a metamorphic rock. It changes form and then melting it and cooling it would be the igneous. All right. All right, here they are. These cookies have been under heat and a little bit of pressure. So these are what type of cook, what type of rock if that was a rock? Metamorphic. All right. So remember the cookie dough we ate? That was sedimentary. And then we put it under heat and pressure. And now we have formed a new result, which would be a metamorphic rock. And the third rock, again, when we melted them, if we melted and burned them to a crisp, um, that would be igneous. All right. Here you go, Maddie. I'm hungry. I don't know about you, but let's see how these things came out. These metamorphic cookies. Hmm. Oh, yum. All right, guys, make some metaphorical, metamorphic cookies of your own with your family member. Have a great day. Stay safe. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Quick review. Uh, in the beginning, I had mentioned a, a prompt in the beginning, and the question I have for you right now is the statement of this. All rocks are minerals, but no mineral is a rock. So think about that. All rocks are minerals, but no single mineral is a rock. Can you explain that? Well, if hopefully what you got from the video is minerals like this quartz, okay, this horn, this uh, microline, and this plagioclase right here. So quartz, microline, and plagioclase. Each of these 
are an individual thing. All of this is one item. All of this is the same item over again, kind of like the sugar was. And then all of this for quartz, for example, everything here is quartz. That's what makes these minerals. They are one ingredient. So these are minerals. They're one ingredient. As soon as I squish a couple of these together, remember we talked about three different methods, heat and pressure, melting and cooling, and compacting and cementing. If I put it under, if I melt this and I cool it, so if I melt these three and I cool it down very slowly, deep within the earth, I get an igneous rock called granite. If I take this rock and I put it underground and I melt it and I blast it out of the ground, I might get a rock called pumice. If I take these same three rocks and I just squish them together and they get all ground up and eroded and squished together, I might get something called conglomerate. Yeah, conglomerate. So, I hope this helped today. Again, minerals are the ingredients. When you combine minerals together, they make a rock. A rock is ba named based on what minerals are in it, and the rock type is named based on how that rock formed. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Our next video is going to be how rocks can change to other rocks. And that's called the rock cycle. Have a great day. Thanks.